Globe. Also According to the seven-member grand jury for this year's award, which included Bruce Shapiro, executive director of the DART Center for Journalism and Trauma, and the BBC's Africa editor, Mary Harper. Ridwan's piece, titled The Price of Thirst, shows powerful storytelling, creativity and innovation. The Price of Thirst provides a captivating narrative of women, men and children walking as far as 30 kilometers just to quench their thirst at what appear to be contaminated, unprotected, disease-infested dams shared by both humans and animals. The story was broadcast alongside a social media hashtag activism, hashtag Northern Lives Matter, which culminated into a national water forum to launch a campaign to solicit support to provide potable water for the deprived communities. The story's impact was fast and felt as it attracted support from Festigard, a global health company which donated water purification machines to the thirsty communities. Redwan Karim Din Osman becomes the second Ghanaian to have won the award after Raymond Archer, who clinched the title in 2002. Ace investigative journalist Anas Armiao Anas attempted the awards in 2009 and 2011 but could only emerge as a runner up in both years. Redwan a multiple award-winning journalist was in May this year named as a finalist for the 2018 edition of the International Centre for Journalists' prestigious Michael Elliott Award. In December 2017, he was adjudged Best Journalist in Rural Reporting by the Ghana Journalist Association for his compelling story on water challenges in Ghana's Vice President, Dr. Mahmoud Baumier's hometown. Earlier in November 2017, the young news anchor and producer was declared Best African Journalist in Peace and Security Reporting by the African Media Initiative. Redwan Karim Dini Osman won the award for his courageous and innovative feature on chieftaincy clashes in northern Ghana. Redwan, a graduate of communication studies from the Ghana Institute of Journalism, received a trophy and a 5,000 euro cash prize from the European Commission as part of his package. I must say that this is really a humbling experience for me. But I quickly want to say that uh, the issue about water accessibility is not peculiar to my home country or the continent. It has resonance across the globe. And I am hoping that this particular recognition will spare action for the narrative to change. We don't want the uh, prediction by Goldman Sachs to come to pass that indeed the next world war will be about water. That should not happen. And so I'm urging all leaders across the globe, water accessibility is an issue that we must take seriously and as journalists we must also take advantage of social media let's keep pushing the agenda until we get the right things done the way they are supposed to be done the natalie prize which is awarded to journalists who have demonstrated a striking insight and particular dedication to reporting of human rights issues within the context of development was established in 1992 to promote quality journalism and to commemorate the dedication of former Vice President of the European Commission, Lorenzo Natalie.